hi everyone welcome to ssr classes today talking about how to represent irrational number on number line so in this video learning represent irrational numbers on number line so first of all what is irrational number a number which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q never be zero that's mean q not equal to zero now taking some example of irrational number like as square root of 2 square root of 3 and square root of 5 and so on okay now if we try to express this irrational number in the form p by q suppose root 2 equal to root 2 by 1 here 1 is a integer but root 2 is not a integer so root 2 by 1 is not a rational number so we cannot express this type of number in the form of p by q okay now representing the this irrational numbers on the line okay so first drawing a line of any length and mark the ends with arrows and taking this is starting number zero okay now taking any length and marking the numbers on the line by this way and these length are unit length that's mean one unit length or unit length okay so now this is one two three four five and so on and this side minus one minus two and so on so first of all discussing about the concept so first root two if there is a right angle triangle a b c okay with base one unit and height one unit then what is hypotenuse so by pythagoras theorem a c equal to root over a b square plus b c b c square so now putting the value of a c and b c so this is root 2 unit so we got root 2 so now applying this concept between 0 to 1 because 0 to 1 1 unit length okay so first drawing 90 degree angle on the point a or 1 by using protector okay so now joining this now taking length between any two number all length are equal so putting here and cut here so this is b point and this is one unit length now joining o and b so this is one and this is one unit so by this way so this is root two unit okay now taking the length ob by compass to draw a arc which meet the number line at a point at a point p and this is the representation of root 2 on number line okay next talking about root 3 so first talking about the concept if there is a right angle triangle pqr with base root 2 and height 1 then what is hypotenuse by similar ways so this is hypotenuse equal to root over base square plus height square so this is root 3 unit now applying this concept between 0 to root 2 okay so between o to p so first drawing 90 degree angle on the point p by using protector okay and joining this next taking length between any two numbers okay and putting here and cut here okay so this is c point and this is one unit length now joining o and c so from this so oc obviously root 3 now taking the length oc by compass to draw a arc which meet the number line at a point q and this is the representation of root 3 on 
number line next talking about root 5 so first talking about the concept if there is a right angle triangle s t u and base equal to 2 unit and height equal to 1 unit then what is hypotenuse similarly by pythagoras theorem hypotenuse equal to base square plus height square so this is 1 square plus 2 square so this is root 5 unit so applying this concept between 0 to 2 so first drawing 90 degree angle on the point 2 by using protector okay now joining this similarly taking length between any two number all length are equal okay putting here and cut here okay so this is d point now joining o and d okay and this is one unit length and from this picture so this is obviously root 5 now taking the length od by compass to draw a arc which made the number line at a point r and this is the representation of root 5 on number line by this way we can represent all the irrational number on the number line by this way as like root 6 root 7 root 8 root 9 and so on here is a interesting fact that if we put all the triangles by this way then we got a spiral that's all thanks for watching please subscribe like and comment